you guys. Happy Mask Monday and Merry Christmas. Hope everyone had a, a Merry Christmas. I am recording this on, what is today? Thursday before Christmas. That's why I have my little elf Santa hat on. I uh, made these a year, well, over a year ago. So two years ago, Christmas. I made these whenever... Um, I was still in the camper. I made this one. I did a collab that I used this one in. And I have another one that I'm getting ready to do a video for that I will probably wear that in. So, yeah. Um, today we are going to do some hologra holographic foil eye masks and then a shine on sheet mask. And we're going to do 10 more um, spiritual AF cards. So, okay, um, let's see. First, we'll do the eye patches. These next gen foil packed eye mask hug facial contours and forms a protective barrier to intensify serum delivery and absorption. Mm. Enough with the puff. These holographic eye masks refresh and awaken eyes as their potent serum and unique vegetable derived combo of moisturizers plus smoothing hexapeptides soothe and helps visible, visibly reduce puffiness and dark circles. Apply foil eye mask to dry, clean dry skin. Leave on for 15-20 minutes. Remove eye mask. Gently pat remaining serum into skin. No need to rinse. Yay. So let's get those on. I really need them because I just, yeah. Tis that time of year. There's both of them together. Looks like they're together. Maybe. Ooh. Oh, that feels so nice. Glittery stars. <clears throat> oh, yes. Okay. And then let's look at the mask. Brightening Sheet Mask. Shine on. Infused with vitamin C, this mask will help brighten your skin along with your day. Directions. Unfold mask. Apply to clean, dry skin. Leave on 10 to 20 minutes. Then remove. Gently massage, ec massage excess serum into skin. Brightening Sheet Mask with vitamin C. That was short and sweet. Not very much on the back. Here's the front. I'm going to have to look because I'm getting low on masks. I really need to order some. I do have some like mud masks and things like that, but I can't get the top off. So how's the weather where you are? We are in the middle. I mean, they're calling in a storm and it's really cold. It's like negative zero here. But I mean, the snow and stuff isn't bad. It's just windy. Kind of feels like you're in Chicago. I don't know if you can hear the wind now. Kinda helped me fall asleep. I'm not gonna lie, a lot 
I mean, maybe not a lot easier, but I fell asleep easier last night listening to the wind and stuff. It was like being back in the camper. Oh, I can hear people outside trying to get their vehicle started. Dalton went to the gas station earlier and he had a flat tire. Well, his tire was low, so, but his car did start. Everybody's having some car issues. This smells good. It smells like a vitamin C, like a fruity. <clears throat> Let's get this on. I still can't find my white one. Poke me in the eye. Okay, let's see. This is how many we have left and how many we've read. Pick out ten of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we still have that many left. So a few more weeks. A few more weeks. I want to find some more. Cards or something like this. So, something on the glasses. I was hoping I would have my new glasses by now, but they're still not in. Okay. <clears throat> shit you don't have time for. Other people's shit. Crazy shit. Bullshit. Stupid shit. Fake shit. <laughs> Shit that has nothing to do with you. <laughs> Once you drop that kind of bullshit, you'll have a whole lot more hours in the day to do awesome shit. Find shit to do that vibes with your soul. Shit that has no negative consequences. Shit that makes you say, oh hell yes. Maybe even do some shit that benefits the world in some way. You have time for the fuck yeah shit. Woohoo shit. <laughs> okay. You are not required to set yourself on fire to keep other people warm. You know how you can tell if someone is talking and taking advantage of you? You feel like shit after giving to them. That shit isn't healthy for anyone. Put the matches down and put and back away. Then they can get warm on their own. Now go do something kind for yourself. That's better service to the world anyway. Mm -hmm. Being aware... Being weird AF is better than being boring as hell. So go to the grocery store and buy one grape, just one. Put it on the conveyor belt, let the checker weigh it, and ring you up. Ask for a receipt. Do not under any circumstances explain yourself to anyone. Take that grape and thank, thank it for teaching you how to do shit other than... Take that grape and thank it for teaching you how to do shit that others don't understand for whatever good reason you have. <laughs> One grape, please. Pretending to be a savage won't heal that hole in your heart, baby. You know who the real OGs are? The ones who ain't got shit to hide from anyone, especially themselves. Real OGs claim their humanity. They hold those wounds up to the light like Mufasa holding Simba. Can you hear that inspirational music starting? Yeah, that's you starting the hero's journey, love bug. Accept the good in your life and know you're a fucking delight. Once you notice the good shit going on in your life, more good shit starts happening. It's like a magnet or a drug beetle or a dung beetle. Fun fact. Once a dung beetle gets a little numb of poop, he runs around with it and more poop sticks to it and grows and grows. Goodness is, goodness is like that. 
that why they roll it around? Hmm. Oh, it says nub. Once a dung beetle gets a little nub of poop, he runs around with it and more poop sticks to it and grows and grows. Hmm. Okay, stay away from people who make you feel like you're hard to love. Even if you've acted like a big ol' asshole, you still deserve to be around people who see the goodness in you and point it out. If they find you hard to love, they ain't your people. Extra credit. Someone pointing out that you've acted like an asshole doesn't mean that you don't, they don't love you. Figure out if you're getting tough love or no love. You'll be way less an, of an asshole when you learn this. You are the product of what you believe. If you think you're a turd, you're probably going to act like a turd. Treat yourself like a turd and, ex and accept turd treatment from others. Why the fuck would you do that? First off, you're not a turd. It's just physically impossible to be a turd in science. <laughs> and... <laughs> okay. But even, if you, but even if you are kind of turdy, you believing you're gold will bring on all that golden behavior and that golden treatment. Today, just believe you're golden. That's not funny because I was a golden. I was married to a golden. If you like it, better there. Go back to Turd Town tomorrow. <laughs> Vibrate so high that toxic people pull back because they no longer know how to approach you. Know how you can tell you're on some hardcore pers personal growth? Your perspective, get, your perspective gets bigger and your inner circles get smaller. It may be that people who want to gossip, quit texting when you stop talking shit. If you're busy, manifest your dreams, keeping your side of the street clean and working on those old gnarly wounds that people want to avoid in themselves. Some people are bound to disappear. Be kind to yourself and to others as you outgrow people and places. Okay, just a couple more. Grab your own butt and love yourself. Well, I do love myself. <laughs> Whatever Whatever type of butt you have, you're a complete psychopath if you can't see that butts of all kinds are super fucking awesome. Look around at all the butts in the world. Big butts, teeny tiny butts, jiggly butts, <laughs> orangutan butts, elephant butts. Grab your butt right now. Aren't you lucky to be the kind of animal that gets to have a butt? Answer. Yes, if you're lucky, very, very lucky. Be the person you needed when you were a kid. Did you need someone who protected you? Did you need un unconditional love? Did you need more attention? Did you need praise? Did you need to know someone had your back? You're a big kid now and you can do that for that little pipsqueak still living inside your rib cage. Exactly. Okay. I've been on here. 13 minutes. It's been right around the time I can take this off. It was right around five minutes when I started. Wow, we've read a lot of these. Not very many left. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this off instead of just coming back. It does smell nice. And face mask. Oh, they are nice. Just rub that in lightly. Why don't down below you tell me what was your favorite part of Christmas this year? Was it just seeing family? Did you get a really nice present? 
And, oh, I forgot I was going to show. I got an early Christmas present from my bestie. And let's show that. She got me oh, these candle holders. And they both say on one side, they both they both have the same sayings on each side. Did I explain that good? Okay. This one says, you are a once in a million find and a priceless diamond. Maybe I don't have so many photos. Maybe I don't have so many photos of you, but trust me, I have so many moments to laugh up. Thank you for everything. Your friendship means the world to me. Your bestie. And then they have tea light candles on top. And I thought those were really cute. And then the other saying is maybe, you know, well, yeah. Dear sister for our, from another mother. Though we don't share the same mom, we share the precious same time. Lucky to have you in my life who can, who can support me in every situation. So I love those. They kind of look like they had sent to them, but they don't, or I'm still just sick. I mean, I do feel better, but anyway, I thought I would show those and thank Angel for those. I love them. They're on my nightstand. Over there. And yeah, again, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. I hope everyone has an awesome and safe, please stay safe for New Year's Eve, New Year's and I love you. Stay beautiful. Stay safe. Always remember to love yourself and always remember to tell the ones that you love that you love them because you never know when it's going to be the last time that you ever get to tell them. And I love you. I love all of you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. I love you guys.